Hello, uh, YouTube world. I'd like to make a video on how my hair turned out orange. It's more of a copper. Well, yeah, it was a copper. Well, copper, orange, brassy, I don't know. I am going to dye it a little bit darker. Um, You can't really tell because I'm kind of sitting in the dark and I have the ring light that it does look darker on camera and it looks darker indoors than it does outside. But this is how my hair looks. Now let me preface by saying um, I initially wanted a blonde color and I went to a salon. So I went to a professional and it looks, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not what I wanted. You know what I mean? So I initially wanted a blonde color. Uh, maybe I'll insert a picture of like the honey blonde-ish color that I wanted. And I knew that I could get that color by simply lifting it. So li leaving the bleach on my hair for like a couple minutes and lifting the color. That did not happen. Um, I even went to a... Um, I even went to a consultation. So we did a tester and she left it on for like a few minutes and then came back. Well, left it on for a few minutes and then checked it and it was the color um, that I wanted. I think I have a picture of what the little tester lock looked like. Um, if I do, I'll insert it somewhere in the video. And we agree, like that was the color. I mean, that was, yeah, that was the color that I wanted. That was it. Fast forward to time to get it bleached. She puts the bleach in. I have no idea how to color hair. I'm not a professional, you know, whatever. Puts the color in, goes next door. She's like, look, I have to go get some stuff from the store. So she runs next door, bleaches in my hair. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I feel it heating up. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not an expert, but I know of like, there's chemical reaction going on, you know, it's heating up, it's time to wash it out. So she comes back and it's like a platinum. It's like blonde, blonde, it's blonde. Not lifted to honey brown, light brown, no, it's, it's blonde. So she's like, oh, I can bring it back. You know, I can bring it back. So I'm like, cool, whatever, you're, the, you're a professional. You can put a color on it to get it my Honey blonde, that's all I want. I just want a honey blonde, okay. <sighs> so she had the copper. I was like, okay, it's fall, you know. We can do copper. Let's, let's just do copper. Copper on platinum hair is orange, right? Orange. So that's what I had. I had an orange hair. So long story short, I'm dyeing my hair darker so let me um and then some of the bleach didn't take like this one and i call this one my caterpillar because it looks like a caterpillar but let me turn around so you guys can see what it looks like and of course i left some roots out, which is fine with me, I guess. So I bought this one, mahogany. I bought three bottles of the mahogany. Um, I wanted to go with cinnamon, but then, um, because my hair is already like in orange and red, and there's also like some darker colors, like you can see on the ends. Like it's a little bit darker because I think she put like a red on top of the orange or on top of the copper that I think getting a cinnamon like the cinnamon color would probably give me the same exact color because of how light my hair is um so uh I don't know this mahogany is either gonna turn me all the way back brown or it's gonna um, dim this color a little bit. So we shall 
see what happens. Okay, so I wish the light was a little bit better. Um, so I decided to do a tester on one to see what the color looks like first. And I probably should have did that before I bought three bottles, but yellow. So let's do one and then see what it looks like. Well, I'd like to mention that she did color this with a semi-permanent. So it will eventually wash out, just like this one will eventually wash out. But I also think because there's, it's a reddish, it's a red, that it probably won't completely wash out. I say all that to say there is no point in doing the blonde again. Like I, I really wanted the blonde, the honey blonde, but now that the red is on top of it, I really don't think I'm going to get back to that unless I bleach it again and I don't want to double bleach my hair. I'm going to use this Tresemme shampoo. Uh, it's not sponsored, but I just like to tell people what I use just in case it does turn out right. I don't know. So the conditioner I'm using is this one, trust me, blah, 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 conditioner. Okay. Oh. Mahogany. Mmm. Mmm, it smells good. Okay. Mahogany in the conditioner. It's just, I don't know, it's only for one month. Okay, got that. Oh, look, I already know what y'all about to say. Don't judge. It's my crab leg cracker that I don't use, that I took from, I don't even know why I'm allowed to say that name on camera. But if y'all know, y'all know. All right, so I'm mixing this. It's kind of dark. So it is fully saturated. Plastic wraps, I know that. I'm gonna blow dry it uh, for maybe five minutes and then just sit around for 30, maybe like 20 minutes. And then we'll come back and I'll rinse it out. I'll show you guys what's going on. This is what it looks like. So. I think I'm gonna go with this color. No, let's come back. Let's come back. We're going to come back and style it. And it's late right now. It's late tonight. So I'm going to style it and come back tomorrow. Like, put together, I guess. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the sunlight. It's not, oh, it's a lizard. It's not too bright. I think it's bright enough for me. And it's still, like, fallish. So... I can't really so I retwisted it and this is what the results are thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with all your friends and family thank you bye